like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Imagine if someone forces you to spend your whole life in a small room, and you're conditioned to get food after performing some tricks for a stupid group of people. This is what animals in SeaWorld go through. From white lies of employees to life-threatening situations in which marine animals live, here are five things SeaWorld is hiding from you. Number five, dark side of the famous orca show. Orcas, popularly known as killer whales, are the beauty of oceans. They are the apex predators in their ecosystem, which means that they had no natural enemy in the oceans who could take them down. Humans, however, took it to their self-esteem and decided to take them down from the top of the food chain and enclose them in small tanks and pools. This is how the famous orca show came into being at SeaWorld, but I wish all these glitters were gold, but they're not. Now, it does not make any difference if you're a huge animal lover or a SeaWorld fan. The fact that these animals are not in their natural environment is itself outright cruelty, but the conditions in which they are living are not helping the situation either. SeaWorld is known to kidnap killer whales from their families. All orca lovers know that they are extremely social animals living in pods and extreme social hierarchies. The hunters from the SeaWorld chase a pod of orcas and corner them, after which they kidnap baby orcas to train them in captivity, and if adult orcas hinder the kidnapping, they're ruthlessly killed. I'll highly recommend the Blackfish documentary to every orca lover out there. It's a must-watch. Once they're captured and isolated, their extremely brutal training period starts, in which they're conditioned in many different ways. During training, some orcas might show concerning behavior, but who cares at SeaWorld? The conditions in which they live their whole life are very concerning as well. In their ecosystem, orca live miles under oceans and therefore do not get sunburned, but in artificial pools and tanks in the chemicals mixed shallow water, they're often seen to be badly burned by the ultraviolet radiation of the sun. Summer is no fun for them either, and doing eight shows a day is no joke. The deepest tank in SeaWorld is 40 feet, which does not provide any protection from damaging sun rays, and SeaWorld shamelessly put black zinc oxide over their bodies to hide burns from public eyes. In 1965, the first ever orca show at SeaWorld was performed by a female orca named Shamu at SeaWorld San Diego. Her mother was shot with a harpoon and killed before the young orca's very eyes by a marine cowboy named Ted Griffin. Another shameful act of violence is their artificial breeding. Trainers of killer whales masturbate the males to collect sperm and then inseminate them with female orcas, who by the way are too young to be mothers, to conceive and give birth. In nature, orcas choose their mates, but at SeaWorld, they don't have that luxury as well. Katina is used as a virtual breeding machine and is even being inbred with her sons. At least 168 orcas have died in captivity, not including 30 miscarried or stillborn calves. The age difference between averages of orcas being in the wild and captivity is more than 30 years. They do not thrive in captivity. Number four, the plight of other marine animals. Just like orcas, beluga whales also do not do well in captivity, and dozens of them have died in SeaWorld. Dolphins also undergo similar treatments as orcas do. They're separated from their families and are kept in small tanks where they are brutally trained and conditioned to earn profits for SeaWorld. They are kept hungry for hours to positively reinforce them to do tricks. It is inhumane to the very core. SeaWorld also doesn't want you to know they drug and sexually abuse dolphins. As if SeaWorld itself was not enough to make the life of marine animals miserable, there are some people as well who love to do the same. They throw things at penguins when they encounter them at SeaWorld, and then the poor animals had to go through surgeries to remove those objects. While we only use five senses, sharks have between eight to 13. This means that living in small touch tanks at SeaWorld is stressful and confusing for them. They want to avoid contact with humans and don't want to be touched, poked, and prodded. Number three, acts of revolution by animals. This is my favorite point in the video. It supports my point as it involves marine animals themselves revolting against SeaWorld. Many animals, including dolphins and orcas, have rebelled against their owners in their ways. Let's start one by one. 
What would you do if someone separated you from your family? Maybe you'll start banging your head against the wall, the gate, or something. This orca did the same thing, and the clip went viral. SeaWorld claimed that separation was part of their training. In another viral video, a dolphin jumped out of her tank, and I think it's the sanest thing to do. I mean, who would not try to break the cage that's holding you? This is not the only case of dolphins coming out of their tank. In another viral video, a dolphin jumped out of her pool during her show in front of hundreds of spectators. Here's another incredible footage of a dolphin showing how she jumped out of the water and snatched a woman's iPad at SeaWorld. It might appear a random act for you, but for me, it's likely the dolphin took that iPad as her food, and after doing the trick, she came out to take her bite. SeaWorld separated two bonded polar bears named Senya and Snowflake after a companionship of 20 years. It left Senya without any other members of her species to interact with. She died two months later, and likely with a broken heart. An orca was also filmed who beached itself out of sheer depression and sadness. Her name was Morgan, and after performing a whole show for hundreds of people at the stands, she sighted herself at a secluded place. She must have felt nothing like any intelligent being would feel. There is no recorded attack of orcas in the wild, but in captivity, orcas have attacked and even killed their trainers in more than 30 such recorded incidents. Some orcas have even committed suicide. It's a lesson that we should all learn, and the lesson is animals belong in their natural environments. And now, let us move on to our subscriber pick of the day. This image was sent to us by one of our subscribers, and similarly, if you ever wish to know more about an image you come across, just send it on over to us. Who knows, we might even feature it in one of our videos. The subscriber pic shows the collapsed dorsal fins of orcas, and it's not normal or healthy. In captivity, all male orcas have collapsed dorsal fins as adults, which is a sign of an unhealthy orca. Such scenes are rarely seen in the wild, where only 1-5% to of male orcas in the whole population have such fins. SeaWorld maintains its position by claiming that this condition is common and natural for all orcas, which is not true. However, collapsed dorsal fins are caused by the unnatural environment of captivity and are rarely seen in the wild. This condition indicates all the harm captivity might cause to marine animals, including orcas. Number 1. Sugar-Coated Trainers This entry is the most perplexing. What to do with the trainers? Are they the culprits or just some numbers on the business sheet of SeaWorld? One thing is clear, SeaWorld is equally dangerous for its employees and the animals those employees work with. SeaWorld's corporate incident log contains reports of more than 100 incidents of orca aggression at its parks, which often resulted in injuries to humans and caused one death. It is speculated that it is only a matter of time before someone was killed while interacting with the orcas. A further investigation into these attacks could have prevented injuries and deaths, but SeaWorld did not do that. Furthermore, those trainers are performers and not biologists. They have no formal education in marine biology. Their main purpose is to entertain and put on a good show for visitors, not educate people about the intelligence, social nature, or natural families, foraging behavior, and habitats of animals held at SeaWorld. This is a whole big lie that sells for SeaWorld. Several warnings by the USDA have been issued to SeaWorld for violations, unsafe conditions, and negligence for animal protection. SeaWorld might appear a dream place to you, but this is all just appearances of the marine park. If you truly have a heart that feels, then going to that place will bring nothing but guilt, anger, and a heartbreak for you. Those animals are the beauty of our planet, but they will look wonderful only in their rightful place, which is in wild, open oceans. Life at a SeaWorld park is miserable for all the animals forced to live there. Don't be a part of this, and boycott SeaWorld! With this ending note, we finish our video here. Thank you very much for watching it! Do like and share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to not miss any of our upcoming amazing videos.